Good evening, and welcome to the Stations of the Cross tonight. We'll be praying this, these stations together this week and next week, and then on Good Friday, we'll have our regular Good Friday service at noon, which is the Stations of the Cross, and then the church's liturgy following. Thank you all for coming tonight. It's wonderful. Thank you all for who are joining us online tonight. All of you should have a handout of the stations. If you didn't get one, there's one at the entrance. And let me just walk us through it quickly how we will pray this. It all should be familiar with you. And if you do have a pamphlet, please take it home with you and bring it back next Friday if you come. It will help us, we are asked and we recommend that once we use something once because of COVID, we, we recycle it. If you want to hold on to it, that's even better and bring it back. So if we'll go through each station. If you choose the first station tonight, welcome all those online. The first station, Jesus is commend, commended to death. The priest, myself, will say, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, and the response of the people will be because By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Brother Daniel will be our reader. And the most important thing that we want after the reading of the scripture, we will pause for a while for a silent reflection. In my mind right now, there's nothing more that we could use greater than silence and letting God be God. After that, we will pray. I'll lead us in the prayer. Let us pray, all powerful and eternal God. And then after that prayer, we will sing as we walk to the second station. And the song prayer will be one you're familiar with. It goes like this. At the cross or station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping. 
Close to Jesus to the last. Obviously, with COVID, we're asked not to sing too loudly. We'll sing through our masks. I just ask you that we sing quietly, however you wish to, to keep everybody safe. Amen? Okay. So let us pray, and we'll be walking through the stations back here on the back wall. And so however you want to pray with us and walk with us will be greatly appreciated. Let us now enter into prayer. Feel free to move around and to leave your pews if you so desire as we walk through the stations. And we pray with Jesus tonight, willing to let him show us how to enter into our own suffering with the presence and the holiness of God. And we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Again, the high priest asked him and said to him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Then Jesus answered, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that, the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need, what further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as deserving to die. Let us pray. All powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth, your Son is condemned to death on the cross. Stir up your love in our hearts so that we may be faithful to his teaching. At the cross, her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping. Goes to Jesus to the last. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Pilate said to the Jews, Behold, your king. They cried out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, 
we have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, carrying the cross himself. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your son still carries his cross in the persecution and suffering of our sisters and brothers throughout the world. Enlighten our minds and hearts so that we may have his attitude in all we say and do. Through her heart is sorrow sharing all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword had passed. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. You have redeemed the world. If the world hates you, Realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. Let us pray. O oh God, to free us from sin and weakness, your Son embrace suffering and crucifixion. Strengthen us in our baptismal resolutions by which we renounce sin and Satan to follow Christ, our Lord and Redeemer. Oh, how sad and sore distress was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one? The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your cross, cross, you have redeemed the world. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, at your passion a sword pierced the heart of your mother, as Simeon had foretold. 
Grant that we who reflect on her sorrows with compassion might receive the healing fruits of your redemption. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. Let us pray. Lord God, help us to see in the sufferings and shortcomings of our lives the share we have in bearing the cross of Jesus. Strengthen us with your grace so that we may bear one another's burdens and enter the joy of your everlasting kingdom. Is there one who would not weep Whelmed in misery so deep, Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By the holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for the one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we experience your love and understanding and the sport and consolation we receive from one another. Give us courage to sacrifice for those in need and to be presence in the world. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain. In that mother's pain untold. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels.
Let us pray. My Lord and my God, you shared in our human weakness and accepted the burden of our sin. Grant us the favor of rejoicing in our human weakness so that in all we do, your strength dwelling within us may shine forth and give praise to your Father in heaven. Bruce derided, cursed, defy, hold. She beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rang. The eighth day station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy, holy cross you have redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the women of Jerusalem wept for you on the road to Calvary. Deepen our faith so that we might recognize you and our brothers and sisters, especially those broken by our indifference. For the sins of his own nation, Saw him hang in desolation Till his spirit forth he sent The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, knowing pain like one from whom you turn your face, spurned, and we held him in no esteem. Yet it was our pain that he bore, our sufferings he endured. We thought of him as stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you permitted your son to be weakened and crushed so that he might rise from the dead, freed from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our sufferings and weaknesses as forerunners of your glorious resurrection in union with your son. O thou mother font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with thine accord. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four shares, a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top to the top down. So they said to one another, let's not tear it but cast lots for it to see whose it will be, in order that the passage of Scripture might be fulfilled. They divided my garments among them, 
and for my vesture they cast lots. This is what the soldiers did. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you were stripped of all glory so that we might be clothed with your grace. Keep us in your love and strengthen the gifts you have given so that we might share in your glory to the everlasting praise of your Father. Make me feel as thou hast felt Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ our Lord. The eleventh station, Jesus, is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his left, right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They, don't, they, they know not what they do. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have taught us that we too must accept suffering if we are to share in your resurrection. Help us to follow your teaching by forgiving those who hurt us. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I command my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Let us pray. God, our Father, on the edge of sadness, when all seemed lost, you restored to us the Savior we thought defeated and conquered. May we see your hand in every failure and your victory in every defeat. Not my will, but yours be done. My will, but yours be done. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. 
but one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus, and Pilate permitted it. So he came and took his body. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you returned to the Father all that he had given to you, so that he might restore all to you a hundredfold in the resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves in all that we do for you, so that we might share more deeply in the life that the Spirit gives. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, is all I ask thee to give. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus and wrapping it in clean linen, he laid it in a new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. Let us pray. Jesus, break my heart open and fill it with the love I need to live my life as one sealed with the cross of baptism, as one marked with the cross of repentance. O Christ, engrave your cross deeply into my heart and the hearts of all those dear to me. Virgin of all virgins best, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. Jesus, remember me. And you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. 